Welcome to Tech Jotters. In this video, I will show you the process to install the latest Ubuntu version uh, with WSL. So if you go to the Ubuntu and search for Ubuntu, okay, if you go download Ubuntu desktop, you can see the Ubuntu 24.04 LTS is the latest version. But if you just install uh, WSL dash dash install with your PowerShell, you will install the Ubuntu 22.04 version, which is the previous version. But I will show you the process to install this latest Ubuntu 24.04 with WSL. And after installing that, I will show you the process to install CUDA Toolkit and CUDNN um, with this system so that you can use this WSL version to uh, run the uh, ML or AI tools, okay? So let's get started. Let's install Ubuntu 24.04 with WSL. So this is the latest Ubuntu uh, long-term service edition. So let's uh, open PowerShell. I will open PowerShell with uh, administrative access. So this is the PowerShell and the command is WSL dash dash install and then the distro name. So this is the distro name Ubuntu. If you just put Ubuntu, it will install the 22.04 version, but I want to use the latest one. So this is the command. And if you press enter, it will install everything for you. Uh, it is showing here Ubuntu 24.04. LTS is already installed because I tried that before in my system. So that's why it's showing this. But uh, if you install it newly, then it will install everything for you. And the later procedure is same. So it will ask you for the username. So I will put the username, take jotters. And I will give my password for the administrative user. Okay, so it's installed successfully. That's fine. So let's close it. And if you open the terminal, you can see the uh, Ubuntu 24.04 on the drop down menu. Select it, and your Ubuntu 24.04 on WSL is ready. So let's uh, go to the next step. Now in our Ubuntu 24.04, we will install CUDA Toolkit and CUDNN for NVIDIA. I'm using NVIDIA graphics card, uh, RTX 4080 Super here. So let's check NVIDIA SMI. It'll show me the graphics card, graphics driver. Actually, this driver is installed in my host Windows computer and it is passed through here. So our NVIDIA graphics card, graphics driver is ready. Okay, so the next thing is we need to run uh, the update command to update the repository of the Ubuntu. And it'll ask me the password, administrative password here. And after that, it'll start updating the repositories. So repository is updated. Now, uh, I need to upgrade the system. Okay, we have 56 packages can be upgraded. So we'll run the upgrade command, sudo apt upgrade. And by the way, I will put all these commands into the uh, video description so that you can just copy and follow this. Okay, so our Ubuntu 24.04 is upgraded. So the next thing is uh, we will install the build essential package. Uh, it's a combination of all the package, so GCC and all the required package for build uh, everything. We need to install this. So this is the single command. It will install everything to build the CUDA. Okay, so let's install it. That's all. So we are completely ready to install the CUDA toolkit in our system. Okay, so let's go to the CUDA toolkit. 
so right now the CUDA toolkit 12.5 is the latest one you can go there and you can see the CUDA 12.5 is the latest one but for the most compatibility i will install the 20 12.4 version okay so for that we need to go to the cuda toolkit archive we need to search it and we need to go to the cuda toolkits archive and i will install the 12.4.1 so let's click here and if i select linux 8664 and here is wsl ubuntu and we need to select version 2 and here we can install from the run file okay so let's click here and these are the two commands to install uh cuda toolkit on our system so let's run this first it will download the file run file cuda toolkit run file is downloaded so we need to copy the next command and run this it will install the cuda toolkit uh, after running this uh, command, run command, uh, you will get this end user license agreement window. You need to accept it. But please remember, if you don't run the uh, previous command, that is the build essential installation command, it will get you, you will get error and the window will close. Okay. So if you do everything correctly, step by step in order, you will get this window and you need to accept it and enter now you need to install okay i will install everything except the kernel objects so let's install it so our cuda toolkit is installed and you can see please make sure you include the paths to the uh, bash rc so we need to add these uh, to the paths okay so let's uh, run nano command to open the bash rc here is the command. It will open the nano is a text editor. It will open bashers into the nano text editor. Let's run it. And we need to go to the end. And here we need to for, uh, paste the paths. Okay. So I will also put the path uh, command to the description. You can just uh, copy and paste this. It will work if you install everything in the default location okay but if you change the location you need to change this also but most of the time you need this command okay and you need to click ctrl o to write this and enter after that ctrl x to close it and uh, to take effect of the latest uh, bash rc we need to run the source bash rc command and now if you use nvcc and version double dash and version you can see the cuda toolkit version 12.4 is installed okay so our cuda toolkit is installed next step is to install the cudnn so i will go to the cudnn and i will install the latest cudnn for my system okay so here is the linux version and 86.64 and we want ubuntu and then 22.04 this is the one we will install okay so i tested it and it works perfectly on 24.04 also so uh, don't worry about this it will work perfectly okay so let's uh, copy this one first just i will copy and paste this command from here and I will also put this off into the description, of course, so you can just copy and paste it. Okay, so let's uh, make this window a little bit here and put it a little bit here so that uh, I can easily go from one window to another. So next, copy this line and do this. Next is the, we need to, you know, copy the key to the designated folder and after that we need to update the repository again okay sorry update i missed the e that's it now we will not run this one 
because we know our uh, CUDA toolkit version is 12, so we'll copy this one, okay? And if you install other version like the 11, you can copy this one. So for 12, I will copy and paste this one and run this. And it's perfectly perfect. So CUDA toolkit is installed and CUDNN is installed in our latest Ubuntu 24.04 on WSL2. And uh, if you want, you can install uh, Miniconda because I like Miniconda as my default Python. And if you go to install Miniconda and Linux installer, download the PKG file. And here you can see the latest version is coming with uh, 3.12 Python, but I want 3.10 Python. So click other installer links and just go to the Linux option and you can see 3.12, 3.11, 3.10 and other versions. So I will go with the 3.10. So let's copy this link and run wget to download this file. And we'll run this with the command bash dot slash miniconda and enter. It will start the down uh, installation. So we need yes, I want to accept the license. And after that, I want to install this in the default directory. And finally, I will put yes. So that's all. If I close this terminal and open it again, you can see the base, so our Conda is working perfectly. So in this video, I showed you the process to install the latest Ubuntu, that is version 24.04, which is a long-term service version. And I installed it on the, with the WSL so that we can get the latest technology, okay? So hopefully you like this, you will like this video. If you like this, please uh, like the video and also don't forget to subscribe it will help me for to grow my channel and create new videos so thank you so much and have a good day